What's up guys? Chris has the games here and today Chris is back in Lynx SMP Season 3 with Joseph the Joseph. Yeah. Playing Season 3 of Lynx SMP. Uh, this first episode came out kind of late in the development of the server. Uh, as you can see we're already working on our iron farm. That's the Iron Titan which I will link down below to the video if you haven't already seen it. It's an absolute monster of an iron farm. Which I am requesting to be renamed the Iron Behemoth, because it's way bigger than an Iron Titan. <laughs> it weighs, it'll give us way too much iron. Like, way more than we'll ever need. We'll literally, actually, be building with iron blocks. Because we have iron blocks will be our junk block, because we'll have that much iron. Awesome. <laughs> It's something That'll crazy, like awesome. 4,000 iron per per hour or something. And since it's in spawn chunks, it's always running. By the way, this is spawn. I made this little spawn house so that people can spawn in. Yeah. So they don't get attacked um, by zombies and such. Reason, for some reason, Jacob, his name is Jacob Skywalker now, originally Major Lapras, he made... He spawned here and said that our actual base is further down the line mm. that way. So I'm like... Mm. So I dug out and this I, subway tunnel that goes all the way to spawn. And yeah. we can also send minecarts with chests and hoppers out, and they'll come over here, and people will come into here, where the hopper will collect that minecart and put it into the system to dispense. But before we begin, I've got a Chris in this place. So, without any further ado, welcome. Oh wait, I, I didn't want to do that. To, oh, space. <laughs> Spelling, we can do it. Welcome to... Steve's Landing. I see you there. Landing. Also known as Spawn. And there we go. Alright. <laughs> My floating sign. <laughs> so, um, we uh, had have the Iron Titan here. We had a farm, but we're good now, I guess. And uh, I guess we'll use that farm in the meantime. Uh, also, Joseph, do you have um, Lapras's pickaxe? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you scared me when you are like, oh, that thing! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was Lapras's. Check it out. Do I have it? It is a Efficiency 4, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, wow. <laughs> diamond pickaxe. And I've found, I've used it to minus 36 diamonds. And I'm going to run over right now and mine the diamonds that I found caving in here. So if you'll yeah. get that to so, me. There you go. <laughs> Let's head over and uh, my nice. Let me pull out my usual pickaxe, which is this iron one that I'm using, and let's uh, go and gain swag. Or diamonds in this case. Same Mainly swag, but also down. What? Uh, this way. Now the funny. Oh, jeez, don't go that way. Now the funny question is, can you craft swag in Minecraft? I mean, if you, you said can, yes, you can rename something to say swag. Exactly. <laughs> So, by default, that means you can make swag. Yep. And this place needs stairs because it's I'm hitting my head on the ceiling every time I come <laughs> down. You could just mine a block above or below. Nah, that's okay. <laughs> Too much of an asshole. So, I believe here is... Nope, that's not the tunnel. I kind of haven't been here in a while, so I have to regain... Oh, there's some. Oh, man, we're going to get lost in here. And I just did. Where the heck did you go? <laughs> Already? There you are. All right, so I think this is it for this area. I've got your back, and the thing that sucks is that I lost both. Um, oh, here's some. Because of the recent change in server, I lost both Edge of Grace, which was my diamond sword with fire aspect and power, as well as your sword had power uh, on fire. it. I I think it did. It was. <laughs> swords, it was good. Power doesn't affect swords, Joseph. It had something on it that made it Knock super power. Or sharpness. Sharpness. Ah, okay. It okay. had sharpness and fire aspect and the fire bane, which was my bow, which had power four and flame. So I'm kind of pissed off about that. I spawn in and I'm like, oh, this is bothering me. Give me a second. Go ahead. I'm going to see if I can find the diamonds. Oh, here's some. One block here. I'll wait for you. 
And I'm lost again. But I found mushrooms, so that's cool. Cool. You're going the right way. Follow the mushrooms. Other way, other way, other way. <laughs> there you go. And I just hear all manner of hell ready ready to kill us. So <laughs> got my sword out. And I've only got 18 arrows because I haven't been able to use the chicken farm. But I will eventually, which There's, is a good thing. Is there a chicken farm already? Well, no. I have my <laughs> ghetto farm, which is basically a circle of fence posts with some chickens in it. And I've also taken the liberty of retrofitting each of the animal pins on spawn with a dirt block with a ladder coming off nice. of it. So that we can get in and out like without dying like I foolishly did once. I almost died because I was fighting mobs. I had half a heart left, and it was slowly regening, so I got up to about three, and there were zombies everywhere. There was one tried to kill me, another, and I killed that one. Another one tried to kill me, and I killed that one. Another one tried to kill me, and it had full leather armor with enchanted leggings and helmet, and I killed that one, but it took a while. He had a wool block that I had um, gotten off of a sheep, so that was bad. Don't you dare hit me, because we're oh. right next Especially with not all the diamonds we have on us. I have 26 so far. So I have full set I have 36, so yeah, Sweet. don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be able to make full diamond armor, which is something I didn't have I in the last episode, or in the last season. And full diamond tools. Sweet. But that's if we, granted, if we find another thing at uh, diamonds. And where'd you go? I uh, lost you again. Hold on, okay. Oh, there's the rest there. Oh, I see your name tag, so I'm heading for your name tag. Oh, that's not good. What? We have a thunderstorm. That can only mean one thing. Rain. Rain? Even this worse. Way. Oh, skeleton got you. But you're okay. Yeah. Worse. Charged creepers. Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. All right, here's one. Out of all of the mobs in Minecraft that I haven't met, I think the Charged Creeper is the one that scares me the most. Because it's a, basically a creeper that's been struck by lightning and... Um, basically has a much larger blast radius. Fun fact, if a pig gets struck by lightning, it turns into a zombie pigman. What?! If a pig gets struck oh by lightning, gosh. it turns into a zombie pigman. Oh my gosh! Frankenstein Easter egg. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, wait, never mind. There's a lot. <laughs> Alright, nothing here. Ow. Notch and Jeb thought of everything. They even thought of a nice, cute little Easter egg for... That. By the way, do you have your brightness set so that you can I see? do, but I'm trying to place torches. <laughs> yeah. right, I have it set to... Um... Oh, you have me for that, too, so... Ah, fuck. Again? You gotta f put a bridge over that hole. I'm serious. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna go. Did you go left? Because I'm gonna go right. Yeah, I did. Just gonna mine a little bit of coal here too. Yep. If I'm in a pinch, I'm gonna have to make an iron or a diamond sword. Just saying. I don't want a dead tonight. Copyrighted songs. <laughs> That's how you kill that urge, YouTubers. Pay it. Pay attention to that. Yeah. If you don't want to sing a copyrighted song, sing copyrighted song right after like the first verse that comes into your mind. And then think it silently in your head. Or in my case, as soon as you realize you're singing a song while recording. <laughs> oh, this was a loop. That's cool. Am I doing this right, Chris? I'm torching on the left. I think I'm trying I'm, tor I'm trying to torch properly. Uh, I don't really have a torching wheel for caving, just for strip mining. But that's oh, okay. only for me personally. That doesn't really... Ooh, I found iron. I'm going to mine it. Sweet. Well, first I'm going to make another junk pickaxe, because I've been running... It. I've been using up junk pickaxes, because my plan, because there's a waterfall back at spawn, is to... Uh... How should I put this? I'm going to make a castle. And the castle is going to be on the top of this really, really high plateau. Because we've got, um, what did you call it, Chris? Extreme something? Or uh, amplified terrain? Oh, yeah. We're an amplified, amplified terrain server. So everything is freaking ridiculous. Yeah. Which is cool, except I lost all my good stuff in the last one we were playing originally, so I'm still kind of pissed about that. 
But hey, it's a nice new map, so I'm hoping to get out of that stupid little house that I built <laughs> to be in the middle of the night. Oh, you mean your masterpiece? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, uh, sir. It used to be a black or a oak wood cube. <laughs> or we'll, we'll, sir, we'll so get there. It's yeah, yeah. It was. It, it's it's worth the uh, wait. So, which way did you? Are you still down here? Oh, those are zombies. Where'd you go? Should be right around where you were mining. Where were you mining? Where'd you go? I went further down this tunnel. Oh, I see. I already torched it all up. We're good to go. The last time we went caving was in the like this was in the last episode, and in that episode, you know what happened? Um, Chris died, then I died, and then Chris took all my stuff <laughs> and gave it back to me. But we basically had the most Wait. epic time. I think we got we oh. went like five levels in one day, just huh. mining or just mining and fighting down. Oh shit! <laughs> Just a little bit paranoid about crossing over a rickety bridge over a boiling lake of lava. Man, these la there's lava everywhere. Needless to say, I've been down here a few times. Yeah. I kind of know the place. <laughs> I think the worst jump scare you can get in Minecraft is uncovering a block and seeing lava. Out of all the jump scares I've had that I've forgotten, I think those are the worst because you never know when they're going to happen. And they're unavoidable because of the terrain generation. And I lost you again. Uh, behind you. Right there. All right. So without any further ado, I think we'll ride to the spawn place. Sounds good. Ooh, iron. From Stitch's Landing to whatever the heck I'm going to name the this, this city. Because now, because I'm I'm kind of a, I'm now a veteran of one season of the, at the server. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I can only say that I'm the only one that can say that to him because he's my best friend. Don't call him that. Or anybody that for that matter. Unless they know you and you know them very well personally. Ah, <sighs> Chris. <laughs> Breaking torches. And plugging up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's what you're acting like right now, you son of a... Get back, I'm not afraid <laughs> to use it. I will use this lava bucket. No! Haha, <laughs> -ha. now we're in the rain, so you can't use lava bucket. Really? It'll... it'll, it'll lava will do that? No, oh, that's cool, you made a little... climbing system here. Actually, that was already there. Yeah. Okay, good. So we're out of the area that had the thunderstorm, so we won't have any charged creepers trying to rape us. Hmm. And we're back in it, so now charged creepers can rape us as freely as they please. By the Gosh, way, there's a mod on the server. Only one mod right now that um, one person can sleep, and then it'll go today. Not everyone has to sleep on the server. Oh, wow! I didn't know that. So that's how that happened. Cool. Yep. Let me uh, smelt this real quick. That is a very legit thing, Chris. That's pretty good. Nice. Eight diamonds. Let's start making diamond stuff. All right, I'm gonna make me. First things first, you gotta make a sword because swords are important for your protection and well-being and swag. First, I gotta make sticks because I haven't made. I haven't Here you go. Made. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna make some anyway because I need. I need. I usually try to have a lot of sticks on hand when I go caving so I can make um, torches easier. So diamond you gotta make sword. a. Diamond and mechanics. a sword is a pretty interesting thing. They're double-edged. They're really, really cool looking. And they give 8 attack damage. Spoiler alert, it'll give you achievements. Next thing you want to make is a diamond pickaxe. That's a pretty cool little a little piece of, of equipment. Can I have and diamonds? Powerful Minecraft. Three short. You. <laughs> I'll lend you some because I'm going to make armor next. Okay. Actually, if you have you already made a diamond pickaxe? Yeah. What about? Are you gonna make a diamond axe? I might, but I'm not. I'm, I still have a stone one, so. Okay. Well, any if you make a diamond axe or. Here, get rid of this for me, will ya? It keeps on going back into my. <laughs> and do diamond. we need leather, leather pants with protection too? Diamonds better. Okay. Here, take <laughs> this. 
<laughs> Here, take this. Take this. There you go. <laughs> Dang it, Chris. I'm standing right here. There. Quit throwing it to yourself. I'm trying not to. I'm still using this <laughs> thing. And then... Um, shoot. What can I... Let me just put this in here for the time being. And then I can make me some... I Now I can make me some garlic panties. And then I can make me a chest plate. That was That's a diamond block, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can make me booties. Booties. Booties, 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 oh, I like booties, booties, booties. That's a copyrighted song. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, check it out. Chris, look at me. Look at me. Check this out. Check it out. Look at it. The transformation. Oh, snap. Da -da 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 Sweet. Can I borrow one diamond? Oh, yeah. yeah. If you make a diamond shovel, I can get you a diamond shovel. Let's see what? if you made one. Have you made a diamond shovel yet? Not yet. Are I'm you going to? Maybe. Okay. Should I? Well, I'll, if I... Can I borrow that one diamond? And then I'll just give you a diamond shovel. Here. One diamond. Thank and while you. we're here, I can get... I can get rid of stuff in my inventory. Oh, did I? Did you get it? Yeah. Here, let me. Throw I it got in. it. I got it. Oh. Let me get up. How do I get up there to? Oh, I can just click on the dispenser. I forgot about that. Smelt that. I mean, you could just put it in too, but. That's true. <laughs> and because I feel like it, I need to make some stone for the castle. So I'm going to put some cobble into the furnace. Only six, but that's all I need for right now. And let me... I'm going to keep my iron stone? sword. What? You need smooth stone? Do I need smooth stone? I'm making smooth stone right now. I have first some I'm free getting if you need it. Uh, sure. Oh, you got to... Take this out, gotta, then. I'll come back for it later, because I know where the minecart stuff is like, now. I can give it to you right now, dude. Uh, my inventory is almost full. That's why. Oh, but... Hey, hey. Nope. I already took it out for you. I know. I, I, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I look pretty good in, uh, in diamond armor. I, I've never worn diamond armor before, so this is pretty nice. Alright, you got about ready to head back? Almost. Just one more thing I gotta do. So uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to explain how this system works here. Uh, so for departures uh, from here, all the carts just go through here, go to this track, and head off to spawn. And then likewise, you can also send carts out this way uh, to spawn. Now when a cart comes in, this is the cool part that I'm proud of. There's a little tripwire hook here, all right? So if a player comes in, sets off the tripwire hook, the track changes, and they continue straight on through there. But if there's no player oh, in the right. cart, and it's just a cart by itself, by mobs and people, yeah, not and by. If and if there's, it's too high, so mine carts themselves with hoppers and chests won't activate it. So when there's none of those, it switches to here, and you can just you can just take off to that storage bay right there. That's cool. Originally, the storage bay was just a, a two by two circle, but once you get above four mine carts, it kind of glitches out. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. See, this guy is one of the smartest Minecrafters I've seen. He's got a redstone on you. Anyway, you obviously haven't seen Seth playing again. <laughs> oh, I've seen Seth playing, but you're you're. I said you're one of. Oh, okay. After you. Leroy. Coming for your booty. You shall not have my booty. I see you, Joseph. Oh no, is that a? Is that a bow and arrow? Yes. Oh no, Joseph, don't shoot. I don't want to waste an arrow, so I'll don't just shoot. hold it. <laughs> you're wearing armor. Huh? You're wearing diamond armor. Yeah. If you put your FOV to quick pro, 
It looks like you're going super fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast, 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 fast. Go so fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Yeah, we might do. Chris and I are actually thinking, and I don't know yeah, if he that's, agrees. That's a, that's a new thing. But. <laughs> you funny, funny guy over here. Funny guy, everybody. But I've I, Chris and I have actually been thinking we might make an ML. We might take an episode and make it MLG. Might, because I'm not sure whether MLG is copyrighted or not. So. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right, Chris? Yeah. With the, yeah, yeah. That's a long minecart rail. Oh my god. <laughs> it is very long. Yeah. Even when I'm at. Oh, there we go. Uh, escape. Oh, no. Oops. Left shift. Oh. Left shift. Left shift. Left sh there we go. Looking through the. Damn it, copyrighted songs coming out <laughs> my wall. Alright. So before we do anything else, I'm gonna make a quick path from Central Station to that um, rail over there, just so that people can access it easier. Got it. Without going through this journey we're taking right now. So I'll join you, and then we can go and see my uh, my lame house. Did they? Did anybody? Or did we ever make an episode with my house finished or our house we finished? Wait. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, anyways, can you go over to the entrance and tell me the coordinates? Entrance of the oh, Subway, yeah. Got it. Let's see, oh, I gotta turn off quick, bro. Hold on. <laughs> oh, there's a normal. I didn't know there was a normal. I'll put it at normal because I don't usually put it at normal. Maybe that's why I've been sucking so much. Because I have my field of view out of the standard. And the cool thing about this new server is that I'm actually not lame anymore. I don't. I'm not having the glitchiness, so I'm, I can have my graphics on fancy. Okay, the entrance to the tunnel. Do you want the X, Y, and Z, or just the X Actually, and Z? Actually, I think I'm just going to dig through this hill here. Can you go on the other side of the hill and make sure I don't miss the other side of the hill? Um, oh, I can see your... I can see you. That's oh, copyrighted, dang it. How... How about we do a John Henry kind of thing? I have a pickaxe. You have a pickaxe. Oh, wait, wait. never mind. I think you're off the throw anyway. Sweet. Wrong hill. Huh. Dang it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, though? John Henry, the guy that beat a steam drill with his bare hands. With a, with a pair of hammers. Nope. It's an old classic American folktale for those of you that don't know it. It's uh, it's about a guy. He was born no with a hammer in his hand. What? Nothing. Yeah, but he was born with a hammer in his hand. It was a, it's a classic American thing, and he basically did a lot of cool stuff. But then he went to work for um, because I'm a train buff. This is why I like him. He went to work for the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad and. He's famous for being given a nine-pound hammer that he would later name after his wife, Polly Ann. And oh. nine, think about it, nine pounds. That thing is heavy. Yeah. I couldn't lift nine pounds. Chris, in his awesome height, couldn't lift nine pounds. Um, it would be... So he could not only pick it up, but he could swing it. He said, His foreman once said that he could drive more steel in a day then 40, or not 40, that that would be over-exaggerating, then 10 men could do in a week. And he became revered for that. And one day this, this dude, he all sophisticated and shit, comes to the camp with this crazy machine. He said, this is a steam drill. This thing can do more work in a day than most men can do in a week. And the foreman was unimpressed. He goes, well, I have a guy that can do the same work as the steam drill. And the, for, the the salesman tries to be persuasive, but it doesn't work. So, in, in the end, they end up having this little competition. And he goes, all right, all right, I'll make you a deal. If your man can drill through this tunnel faster than my steam drill, 
then I'll let you keep them. If not, you get to buy my steam drill. And they agreed on it and stuff, and uh, they went to do the competition. And when the foreman asked if John was okay with it, his famous words are, A man ain't nothing but a man, but if I let the steam dr I'd rather die with a hammer in my hand than let the steam drill beat me. Hmm. So, they basically went, and John Henry started on one side of the tunnel with his nine-pound hammer, and the steam drill operator started on the other, and John Henry basically pounded through that mountain fast and hard against the steam drill. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and the legend has it that John Henry was hammering so much that a rainbow wrapped itself around the mountain. Huh. You could actually, there was like a freaking rainbow, and it was freaking awesome. Frickety but frick, frick. Um, <laughs> in the end, this was the score. The steam drill drilled a mile. John Henry drilled a mile and a quarter. He beat that thing cleanly, okay. walked out of the other end of the tunnel, and then died. All right, the here's... sad part about the story, the sad part of the story is, is that he uh, hammered so hard and so fast and so strong that his heart burst. And uh, they had a funeral for him, and he's got a lot of legends. He he's a really popular character, so if you want to um, check him out, it's the Legend of John Henry. Um, there's a lot of, there's a poem about him, there's a story about him. The first time I heard about him was in a video cassette, so, yeah. Pretty cool story, right? Yeah. Kind of sad, but still pretty cool. What is this, anyway? I haven't been here before. The Slappers' house. Oh, wow. Dude. I gotta pass this up. I have, I have competition now. Lapras is trying to outdo me. Alright, I'm going to return cool. the uh, fortune pickaxe to Lapras, and here's your diamond back. Where are you? Right behind you. Here you go. Oh, cool. Hold, uh, hold on. Um, here, take my dirt. Or not. So here, take my dirt. You here. Oh, wow. I'm turning up my render distance. Nice. Dang it, Lapras. He stole our view. Because <laughs> I remember we had the best view on spawn for a while. And then he had to frickin' change the... Mm. Ooh, I'm gonna replant here real quick. I need... Oh, and my acacias are grown, so I might consider chopping those down so that we get wood for structures on the castle. So how's everybody? Everybody doing good? Because I just finished a really painful project. Yeah. Two parts, actually. I had to do the senior project, which is for a different English class. I don't... At my school, it's English 1, 2, 3, and then instead of English 4, we have Expository Reading and Writing, which is basically a college-level English class to get us ready for college. And you got to make a whole portfolio and a PowerPoint presentation, and it's just a very fast-paced thing. Wow, this is a really beautiful view of Swan. And I also had a budget project, and that one was a complete ludicrous... Hmm. No offense to the teacher, but it was a wa I felt like it was a waste of time. I disliked it a lot so but it did teach me how to make a spreadsheet with huh. thanks to my mom oh so, yeah but man Lapras's view of spawn is nice let me see can I see oh yeah I can see my crappy house from here ow and the cool part is I can see about where I'm gonna put our house maybe we can um Make like a TNT cannon or something that can fire us back and forth between houses. That's a pretty far distance. 
even for a TNT cannon. I've built a few. I've I've built the two types of TNT cannon actually. There's two um, epic kinds of TNT cannon. There's the normal TNT cannon, which fires every time you push the button, and the hilarious one, which is super OP and super crazy, the dual shot cannon, which is basically a normal, a longer version of it with a piston that goes up and down that um, feeds more TNT into a section of the cannon so that the shots go farther. Now the problem with that is it's, is that it's sporadic. So you don't get set distance every time. And it's crazy. It's like, bam! 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 <laughs> and you just see the TNT blocks just flying as far as the eye can see. With your render, with render distance set to 4, they actually go out of sight. Wow. So they're pretty, pretty legit. Alright, so right now I'm just going to harvest the sugar cane and uh -huh. um, cactus to use for junk blocks for the uh, Iron Titan. I can't plant it. Do you have it in your hand? I, I do. Alright. Just get that one for me. Which one? Right here. Oh, you can't do it right there. I can't? Why not? No, it has to be touching a water source block. Oh, okay. That explains it. It's pretty cool. It keeps it all uniform. It looks very Japanesey. Uh -huh. Alright, and cactus. One of the, the most dangerous. cactus is that when it lands, it sometimes falls on the cactus, and then it gets destroyed. <laughs> oh, wow. You want me to help you? Sure. I guess do oh. this faster. <laughs> Bless you. Pardon me. All right, so I think that'll do it. Uh, just a little bit of wrapping up here for this wait, episode. Wait, wait, wait. Our house. You gotta show the oh, house. Yes, well, let's wrap up at the house. Uh, this episode was just a little bit of a uh, welcome to the server. <coughs> Here's what we're gonna do. Next episode, we'll start work on the uh, central station for the subway. And, and I'll uh, start working on the castle off off camera. Yep. And we have here a is okay, Joseph's and... house. Now, it, Sarin, it didn't always look like this, but Sarin went It used to be away. literally just oak planks all the way around, about this high, and just all the way around oak planks, and Sarin right, got to it. Right. <laughs> Sarin basically um, <laughs> overdid the jack-o'-lanterns a little bit. I Pretty tried much, to come out with a lava bucket, but I didn't have time. Except for the door, everything orange was placed by Sarin. <laughs> yeah. The acacia door I, was my doing. But yeah, it's a lot to take in. It's very crazy. I love this. It's hilarious. And with that, cool. I think we'll have to we'll wrap it up episode. for the episode. So thank you guys for watching, as always. If you like this, make sure you leave a like and drop a comment down below. And if you really like it and you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Remember! Remember, Chris is the games. I'm his bros! And Chris and Joseph Joseph. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye, Wait, everybody. There you go. Oh. There you go.